Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Um, today it is uh, West Brom versus Brighton at the Hawthorns. Um, obviously, if you watch my Premier League prediction yeah, video, sorry about the sat nav. Um, obviously, if you've seen that, then you know why I haven't been going to the um, couple of the, the games that we've played. It is because I haven't been well and well, a family member haven't been well. And um, so what we, so it's back to down you have another match vlog. As I said, away to West Brom. I've never actually been to West Brom, so I've been a brand new ground. From me as well as you guys, I'll go take you on. Guys, let's hope for the three points. Guys, you know what to do. If you need to my channel, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. Right, just stopped off, gonna have something quick to eat. Um, before we continue, if you like this video, give it a big crap thumbs up. And just remember, Alan Parge is an ex Palace manager. You know, you know a bit of the rivalry, especially if you watch my Brighton Palace vlog back. If you haven't, you wanna know about the rivalry, go back and watch that vlog. And then you understand it a bit more between the rivalry, but ex Palace manager, so. I don't think Brighton fans are going to forget about that, especially that celebration he done when uh, Palace went one up against United in the FA Cup final. So, could be an interesting day, but come on Brighton. Well, I'll start a little stop off, fill my belly up, and um, now we're going to do 113 miles to West Brom. So I'll see you guys when, when we're out there. Pay for the three points. We're a bit low in Coldfield, so come on Brian, let's go get us. Right, now we've arrived in West Brom, uh, just walked up to the ground. Uh, pretty nice yeah. drive. Um, coming up here, weren't too much aggro. Uh, the road works. Uh, we managed to uh, shift it, the staff nav managed to take us around the gap with careful, so that was not too bad. As you can hear, all the horns are going up because try to park up for the game. I can't write and let's get three points. We're just hanging out um, next door to the stadium. As you should be able to tell, the stadium dark back behind me. Um, it's a bit like of a party thing. Uh, fair play to West Brom for putting it on. Um, really looking forward to the game. I try to get their uh, fans' boots up. Um, obviously going for a bit of a full one and four, but I hope after today I can turn it around. Um, you know, hard call, nearly went to administration, and unfortunately you can't take your form around. If you don't do it in this league, you've got to do it in the championship, otherwise you are looking near sort of hard call. Um, so I hope I can turn it around after today, but anyway, come on Brighton. I just got to my seat for the first time, I'm going to show you what the seat looks like today. I'm not sure if I updated you, but I'll do it now. 2 0 West Brom, second aid on second corner. We look out, don't look good enough, on to Chelsea, but still one, boys. 
Well, good evening. Um, still about ten minutes gone again. Oh. I'll give you a true prediction when I get back to the car. All I'm going to say is if we play football like this, no way to gas down this division, so need to pick it up. And our next game is Chelsea. Um, you got a NASA lunchtime kickoff. And then I can't remember, I think we've got a Stoke after. Then we got, I think it's Southampton away, so we need six at the line, at least. But I'll give you a true prediction when I get back to the car. I'll see you in a bit. Right, true assessment. Absolutely shocking. I'm literally depressed. I cannot back the players' corner tonight. Fair play to West Brom. Um, they're still walking home and whatever. Fair play to them. Good luck for the rest of the season. It's, um, it really is. I'm, I'm panicking from Brighton point of view now. We play like that, we've got no chance of survival. Um, guys, if you want to give the players a stick, feel free, because I can't back none of their corners. Moe should have had a shot inside the box and it's dead evil. He will whack it. But just really shocking. Uh, that's all I can say. So guys, you know what to do by now. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. Give it a big clap thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And ciao for now.